This is the percutaneous calcaneal dorsal closing wedge Zadek osteotomy. You can see here we've got the patient positioned in the uh, beanbag lateral position with an axillary roll. We've got the entire foot resting on the mini C-arm. We've marked out our plantar incision, which is at the apex of the osteotomy, as, as well as our wedge, which measures about a centimeter dorsally. I'm using a metal wire here to show the apex point of the osteotomy. And then we're gonna have a posteriorly based osteotomy here where we take out the, the area of haglin deformity. And you can see that would be one limb and here's the other limb. I'm now going to do the first limb of the osteotomy. I'm using a three by 30 millimeter Shannon Burr. This is a 10 centimeter burr as opposed to the typical seven centimeter burr. You can see it's much longer. We've now completed the first limb of our calcaneal Zadek osteotomy. We're now gonna do the second limb. Uh, the burr is three millimeters in width. So I'll move about two burr widths uh, anterior from this initial limb. Here you can see I'm making the second limb of the calcaneal Zadek osteotomy. We've now completed both limbs of the calcaneal Zadek osteotomy. I'll now use a combination of hemostat and pituitary rongeur to remove that intervening uh, bone wedge through the incision site. We've now removed the intervening bone fragment and we're going to close down the calcaneal Zadek osteotomy with dorsiflexion of the ankle and we'll show that to you live. Okay, and you can see my assistants now closed down the osteotomy. We're gonna now throw two seven millimeter cannulated headless screws across the osteotomy for fixation, and we're finished. We've now got the guide wires for our two seven millimeter cannulated screws, and these both angle up toward the uh, subchondral bone at the posterior facet of the subtalar joint. This is our final fixation with two cannulated screws. Again, you can see nice closure of the osteotomy you can see our closure here, one small incision for the osteotomy, two small incisions for the seven millimeter screws. I'll now show you the increase in ankle dorsiflexion with the knee straight. My assistant's currently holding the knee straight. This patient had a mild five degree to 10 degree gastrocnemius contracture pre-op. And again, now we're gonna dorsiflex the ankle and you can see he easily comes up past neutral. My name's Oliver Shipper at the Anderson Orthopedic Clinic. I'm an orthopedic foot and ankle surgeon. This was the percutaneous calcaneal dorsal closing wedge Zadek osteotomy for Achilles insertional tendinosis. Thank you.